All praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Bah Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bah Hashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace, salutation to all the Akim doing and pushing this word in all honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide. And a sincere shalom to the elect. Now, this is going into a video that the brother in uh, Baltimore had um had made. Okay, it was a short video, about three three or four minutes. But it's going into prophecy. Okay, this is why I labeled it. Um, let me let me see this right here. It says Bill Gates to M M to the plant Digi in ID in Kenyan youth. Okay, so. They're proposing this plan that, you know, everybody from here on in should get a digital tag, a digital ID tag. OK, and we all know what this is leading into. This is leading into Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16. And, you know, they're testing these things right now. Like I called it um, the rollout MOTB digital Kenya testing grounds, China to Sweden to. You know what I mean? Various places in the world. And the David Guzak commentary on Revelation 13 and 16 says it all right there. He tells you that they're constantly testing, proposing and testing these things. And why are they constantly testing them and putting them up there is because sooner or later, they're going to roll out that MOTB and it's going to be a digital system. Everything is moving digital. Okay. So for these guys out here talking about the MTOB is spiritual, it is not spiritual. It's actually something physical. And you taking that MTOB, okay, you're basically taking a badge of servitude saying, yeah, Esau is my God, okay? Esau is my master. That's what you're basically doing when you're taking the MTOB, all right? So going back into this, you know, um, this is what these people want to do, okay? So you're seeing it here, what he's saying. He's saying, yeah, he wants to put forth a, a, a plan to have all the youth, okay, babies, when they come out, they're digitally, digi digitally tagged, all right? And we know what they're going to be tagged with, all right? It's not going to be no fucking... 19, 1986 cartoon with a barcode on the back of your head. No, we know what it's all about, all right? And like we said, it's not something that's spiritual. It's something that is physical that they want to put into you. Because like I said, when you did, when you read the David Guzak commentary, he clearly tells you, he says, yeah, this, this, this item right here, when you take it, you have the ability to buy or sell. And if you don't take it, you will not be included in the digital economy system, okay? Go read it. It's in the David Guzak um, commentary on Revelation 13 and 16, okay? So let's get into something real quick. Let's go to Numbers. This is what the Lord said he's going to do, and we put our trust into the Lord. So, you know. Numbers chapter 23 and verse 19. God is not a man that he should lie. Yahweh is not a man that he should lie. Yahweh, why? Yahweh Shai. Okay? Neither the son of man that he should repent. Have he said, and shall he not do it? Or have he spoken, and shall he not make good, make it good? Right. So, whatever the Lord has commanded is going to be issued in due time. Like the scriptures say right here. So he, he spoke this, that this is going to happen. And we expect it to happen because we have faith in what the Lord has said. Okay. Oops. What am I doing? We have faith in what the Lord has said. And last time I checked, without faith, it's impossible to please Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai? Okay. These guys all here, oh, faith-based, faith-based Israelites. <laughs> like it's a joke. Scriptures tell you to walk by faith, not by sight. Scripture tell you to be rooted, rooted up, built up in the faith, man. Established in faith. Slakia. So anyways, Sirach chapter 39 and verse 16. 
All the works of the Lord are exceedingly good, and whatsoever he commandeth shall be accomplished in due season. And his commandment, verse 18, is done whatsoever pleaseth him, and none can hinder when he was saved. So, right, whatever the Lord has spoken out to be done is going to be done. And in this form and fashion here, this is the way he wants it to be done. If you go ahead, fuck around and take that MOTB, well, guess what? You know, you took in that badge of servitude. You, you, you're you showing your alliance to Esau Edom. You're not showing your alliance to, to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay? And this is deep, deeply going after, um, you know, you, you uh, Israelites. Okay? Because the world, this word was given on to us. This is our family book. Okay? This is our family uh, photo, photo, photo album. All right? These commandments, these law, statutes, and commandments, they're for us. Let's get into this real quick. Let me see something right here. Let me see. Yep, right here. Okay. When you go into it, etch and sketch or stamp as is as a badge of servitude. Okay. When you take that. You're you're pledging your allegiance, not to, um, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, but you're pledging your allegiance to this man. You're actually saying, "Hey man, this guy's my master. Hey man, this man rules over me. Hey man, this man's my god." Okay, remember, scriptures tell you that. Woe unto you that go down to Egypt because they're strong in horses, many in chariots. Roughly phrasing. This is how people uh, 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 identify when they look at Esau, Edom, they see the money man. They say, oh, yeah, he's the money man. You know, the rich man. When the rich man speaketh, every man holds their tongue. But unto us, they don't want to hear a, 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 a word that we got to say, right? Just like Jeremiah 44, 16 on down. They, they're in that spirit. They're in that spirit of serving and, and pouring out drink offerings onto the queen of heaven. Instead of, uh, you know, following after what's good for them, which is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Exodus chapter 21 and 1. Now, these are the judgments which thou shalt set before them. If thou buy an Hebrew servant six years, he shall serve. And in the seventh, he shall go out free for nothing. See, a lot of people got that twist in their mind. Servitude, servitude. Oh, look, slave. You guys don't have no fucking understanding, okay? Right here, I just told you, if thou buy an Hebrew servant, talking about Israelites, okay, Hebrews, you should do what? Serve thee for six years, right? And in the seventh year, you shall go free for nothing, right? So all that time he's working, he's building up. That's what that's all about. So he can stand on his own too. So he can venture off and, and provide for his family. Okay. Here it is. He's got seven years, six years of labor. Right. Storing up, storing up. And in the seventh, when he go out, he can go purchase land from family. You know what I mean? And, and start, start off his own. Okay. His own family. That's what people out here do. Right. In a sense, they leave their parents. Right. They, well, they work, then they leave their parents' house, and then they go buy a house, right? Go buy land. Same form of fashion in a sense, okay? But let's continue. It's lock here. But let's continue, all right? If he come, if he come in by himself, he shall go out by himself. If he were married, then his wife shall go out with him. If his master have given him a wife, and she have borne him sons or daughters, the wife and the children shall be her masters, and he shall go out by himself. And if the servant shall plainly say, I love my master, my wife, and my uh, and my children. I will not go out 
free, then his master shall bring him unto the judges. He shall also bring him to the door or unto the, the door post, and his master shall bore his ear through with an awl, and he shall serve him forever. Okay? So when you're taking that all from Esau Edom, you're really saying, no, I want to I wanna serve Esau Edom, okay? He's my master, all right? This is why the Lord said, you know, he's a jealous power because Esau Edom is committing these acts trying to play like he is the most high. And two-thirds of our people are falling for it, okay? 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 3, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a fall away first. And that man of sin be revealed, or slakia, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he, as God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. This is the, the, the uh, complex of Esau Edom, okay? He thinks that he is a God. He thinks that he's he's the one, uh, you know, running the show, as they say, okay? He thinks he's the one, um, uh, uh, the big dog, all right? This is how he acts. This is how he behaves, all right? This is the, the way that Esau Edom behaves and carries on, like he is God. So when he pulls out this MOTB, and you individuals are, um, you know, you individuals are um, taking it up. Yeah, let me take the MOTB. Let me take the MOTB. What you're basically doing is, you know, pledging your allegiance to Esau Edom. Saying that he is your God. And you believe in him. And whatever he says, that's it. You know, like we say, when the rich man speaketh, every man holding his tongue. But the Most High, he's upset with that with our people because he's a jealous power, man. Um, Deuteronomy 5 and, and 9. Thou shalt not bow thou thyself unto them, nor serve them. For I, Yahweh, thy power, am a jealous power, visiting the iniquities of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Now, that's another thing, too, that I just, you know, um, pulled out there. Visiting the iniquity, okay? Sin upon sin, right? Visiting all those sins upon sin that which they have committed, right? People are terrible. Anyways, visiting all those sins that they have committed, right? Because you transgress the law and then sin upon sin. That's iniquity, right? So now, all those sins which you uh, committed in your past life, the Lord said what? Onto your third and fourth generation. That's your part, man. That day. Hey. All praise is due to Yahweh Hashem Yahshai Hashem Rakakodash because we have the vision to see. The Lord lets us know. But two thirds, they can't see that. They can't peep that. Reincarnation and whatnot, you know? But, anyways, going back to the point, Yahweh is a jealous power, okay? He don't want you bowing down, you know, I served, you know, I served this and that God and this. No. He is the only power that you're supposed to be serving, okay, as an Israelite. But you have two-thirds of our people, you know, they love uh, uh, pouring out drink offerings onto the Queen of Heaven. You know, since we left off, we've caught much hell, you know. So they're, they're in that mindset of, oh, yeah, I got to be serving uh, these other gods. These are the gods that brought us out of Egypt. Oh, I need to make a golden calf. They're itching. To do wickedness, okay? <laughs> That's all it is, man. They're itching to do wickedness, man. But in this case, the situation where we're talking about here, you take that. That's a badge of servitude. 
okay? You're, you're pledging your allegiance on who, 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 who really, you know, who really is uh, uh, your power, okay? And this is all uh, prophecy, man. All prophecy, okay? The MOTB, the rollout of the MOTB, Digital Kenya Testing Grounds, all right? So with that, all praise the Lord, honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, elders of Green Millstone that rule well. And peace and salutation to all the Akim doing a push this word, not honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide.